All right, y'all, this is my personal friend and mentor, Ray Repic, the owner of Rhino USA. So he's gonna tell us a little bit about his 2018 F-150. Uh, looks like you got some custom mods on this thing, Ray. Why don't you go over a few of the little add-ons you've put on here? Okay, well, we're starting with uh, 2018 Ford F-150 Max Tow FX4. So it's four-wheel drive. It's got the oversized radiator and tranny cooler for towing. Uh, 12,800 pounds is max tow. We use this rig mainly for towing our vent trailer and towing my RV around. That's pretty much about it. So we'll start with that. And then um, when we started doing mods on the truck, we started with wheels, tires, and suspension. So we put a set of Bilstein 5150s all the way around, uh, two inch lift and to level the truck out and Nitto tires um, just to make it look good, but also it gets us at 34 inch tires and it clears everything without taking crash bars out and stuff. So we'll start with that. Um, let's see, went with the built right small antenna just to kind of clean that up. What about those headlights? It looks like a custom oh, yeah. headlights. Sorry. So uh, then our good friends at Morimoto Lighting came down and borrowed the, uh, the truck one day um, to go put uh, their brand new custom um, F-150 headlights, all LED, kind of the new style truck <coughs> lighting system. <coughs> but it's headlights, it's uh, 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 fog lights, tail lights, um, pod lights. Uh, reverse lights, everything now converted over to 12 volt. Looks pretty sick. It, it does. Like, lights up around kind of like the new lightnings. Like a Darth Vader truck, kind of. Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. So, yeah. Uh, and then that, this truck's been in a couple of their, uh, their video presentations on it. Every now and then they come down and pick it up and shoot some video of it. So, that's a good call. Okay, so then we added, uh, we started outfitting it for taking on overland trips. Um, we started with a Retrax XR uh, Pro tonneau cover. Um, this keeps everything dry in the back. Um, and then we look for some rack solutions that'll work with that tonneau cover. We use the Voodoo um, rack. Uh, um, I think it's the 18 inch one. And then we added the later model basket on top of it uh, where we put cargo, uh, cargo bags on there. Um, the 270 awning came next. And axe came next in case we run anything out on the trail. Just kind of easy way to to get things cleaned up. And this is an right? OVS 270, correct? Um, uh, they just had a, a, a sale going on, and it, we fabricated our own brackets to get it up and above the truck. So, uh, and above our 180 on the other side. When we go the other side, we'll show you. Um, and then we come from that. We have Starlink running, something that we added later because we get in some of these venues where you can't get Wi-Fi and there's not good cell signal. Um, and I'll show you our electronics in the back. Um, we come here. We have a little uh, GCI camp table. Um, I love these tables. I have one with every one of our rigs and RVs. And then we have our uh, Rhino Camp kitchen. This is something that we worked on. Uh, it's probably six or seven iterations uh, to come up with this. So it keeps everything organized. We have our knives in sheaves, cutting board, longer utensils down here, all our spices over here, and then this pouch for silverware, which actually can pull off and bring to the table, and then it folds nice and flat and sits in the back of the truck. Um, here's those uh, Morimoto pod lights, which you see here. We bring a small bottle of propane to, right next to our cook station. Although lately we've been on small butane fire maple stoves or our new Ninja electric um, grill, smoker, um, air fryer, um, just trying some different devices out. All right, we'll come to the back. You can see we're still under the 270 for shade. So um, electronics, charging, things like that. This truck is um, lots of times pulling the RV Sometimes we use it in the shop to haul metals to recycling, and then we take it overlanding. So electronics, nothing's built in or tied to the truck. Um, the way I designed it is all standalone. So we'll run uh, two EcoFlow Delta uh, primary and a backup battery that sit way up in the front of the truck. We build a little wiring harness uh, through the mole panels, which are built right mole panels in the back corner. And then we have all our connections there. So we'll run solar panel input, we'll run a 110 input, we'll run a 110 output, um, and then everything else is plugged in. This trip we brought our EcoFlow Glacier fridge. Um, not very good for overlanding. This will 
find its way back to the shop and we'll go back to our Dometic that we had which is much better uh, opens in the back. It's just much better designed to be in the back of a truck. And we also noticed that the EcoFlow is pulling a lot more power. Pulls a lot more power. Um, it also has a freezer. Our Dometic is just a fridge. Um, um, yeah, but this this uh, Glacier model not really set up for overlanding. The door's wrong. The access is wrong. It's kind of like a good a good por portable fridge to bring to the beach or something like that. Um, we run a couple of storage trays. We actually have three boxes. One with our our our, uh, our dry goods and other kitchen items that we need. The one in the back is just basically sleeping bags and air mattresses and stuff storage for sleeping, and then uh, food. Um, our little go box, which is just uh, miscellaneous everything we may need. Uh, a little Dometic water. We have the fancy um, chargeable uh, dispenser unit for the top. Um, but quite frankly, we never use it. It's kind of a pain in the ass. We just lay the thing down. It works just as good for how we use it. Okay. Real quick, before we get off the electronic system, um, we are running some Renogy solar panels. Uh, they've been pretty great, especially on a nice day like today. I think what we were pulling, like 140 watts off the solar. Um, well, they're 200 watt and, and in, the, in the sun, we get a nice sunny day like today, we're gonna be 185, 188 watts. So uh, it charges our battery pack up pretty quick. Um, we, we, we bring our backup generator only because we knew we had a day of rain here. So we weren't sure. Um, uh, we didn't really use it for charging. Uh, we're working hard to make sure we can just do solar and the solar uh, generators on the EcoFlows just to, just to see how that works. So, so far we've been pretty good. I mean, I think the lowest we got was 64% of battery, but that's still like uh, 60 something hours worth of time so not a problem all right okay moving around the other side of the truck this was the first item we added it's uh, a Rome's uh, six by eight foot awning um, with the annex so um, this is where we sleep um, much more economical than a rooftop tent also um, it allows us uh, at the time to have the dog bed to be inside as well and not haul my 60 pound dog up and down stairs so you can kind of get a glimpse inside. We use disco beds, stackable camp cots. So we've got uh, upper and lower berth, um, some side tables to keep our goods um, up off the ground. Um, we have lighting, a light strip up in the corner so when we come in and then uh, we have a, a buddy heater we use to heat it uh, before we go to bed and then in the morning to heat it if, it's, if we need to. So um, a lot of people interested in this setup just because it isn't uh, climbing up and down and it's uh, several thousand dollars less of an investment. Um, it's a little bit of a setup. It's not so good for an overnight trip, uh, but um, a couple of days it's good. It takes, takes about 30 minutes to get everything set up. Okay, so that's, um, that's our sleeping arrangement. Um, I don't think we think have that's anything, about else, it. Yeah. anything else going on on the other side. Lots of times we'll put our panels on the other side here. Just depends on where our layout is and uh, where the sun is. Today the sun's nice and bright, uh, but uh, panels are already tucked away. So Sweet. Well, that's Ray's 2018 F-150. Thanks for sharing with us. You got it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.